I don't think I will ever get tired of photographing the forest, especially in foggy conditions like this one. The cold wind and the snow from the last few days really transformed the scenery and the landscape. We're in the middle of spring and next week we're going to celebrate Easter. And I really don't know if it's really going to be Easter or is just the comeback of Christmas. While I was hiking up the forest, I noticed those really yellowish leaves that I can really quickly switch to towards more red or reddish hues in Photoshop. And immediately to my mind came an idea to find trees that had these kind of leaves on them and then the rest of the trees are uh, bare empty and then I have snow uh, that it's not stained with footsteps. I think it's going to create a really beautiful image like this first one over here where um, I took also a portrait mode and a landscape mode uh, and the settings were ISO 100 f11 and 20th of a second but I think it looks really well because of the simplicity of the shot. There's only one tree with a couple of leaves and then the rest of the trunks that are just silhouettes that complement that on that one tree. There are a couple more trees like this one in the area in the proximity and I'll let you enjoy the photos. The settings probably is going to be the same but the way I'm going to frame it it's going to be slightly different for each tree. Now for this tree, the framing was a little bit different than the others where I frame it pretty tight. Now I created like a trail that goes into the forest and then I'm having this tree to one side of the trail and it's very easy to do that with all this white snow on the ground and I'm just finding my way through the trees in a manner that resembles a trail and I'm using this tree as a guardian to the trail and as a really beautiful entry point. Uh, you can also look at it as the main subject but you can also look at it as a place to start your journey into the photo and then you are wondering what's out there uh, and what's beyond the fog. You always aim as a photographer to transmit a message with your photos or to um, to make people feel something but it will never be your message or your feelings because I'm here I hiked uh, to get here and uh, I worked for this image now I'm in the forest I also heard some deer uh, over there and if you never heard deer in the wild you may be surprised of how they sound <laughs> if you don't know how they uh, sound like you may be scared a little bit so I'm having all this experience. The birds are singing around me. So I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing the forest in a way that's going to be completely different from you that are sitting uh, in some place and you're just watching the video or you're just looking at my photos. So as a photographer, you never have to um, think that your photos are going to be seen just the way you uh, see your photos. The important thing is that your photos trigger something and that something depends on each person according to their uh, beliefs, their the, the videos that are watching, the movies that are watching, the books they are reading, the stories that are reading and all uh, their personal experience and their personal uh, feeling in that moment. That over there is one of the trees that I love the most in this forest and whenever I come to this forest 
I need to find that tree and give him a hug. And I'm, I'm always hoping that I'm going to see it next year and next year because it's, it's pretty old, but even though it, it doesn't look like, but in a forest like this, a tree like that could easily have over a hundred years. So it's sometimes we take things for granted, but I don't know. I think after reading the secret lives of uh, trees, I'm looking at the forest completely different. I was already seeing the forest as a magical place to be, as a as something that is unique. But now I feel like I'm in the presence of an entity of, of something that knows that I'm here and feels my steps on the ground and it, it reacts in some way that it's not uh, visible to my senses, but it reacts in some way to my presence over here. So it's now it's a completely different experience for me in the, in the forest. The settings changed a little bit because the fog became thinner. Uh, so there is more light entering the forest. So now I'm at one thirtieth of a second. But then again, I'm having F11 and ISO 100. And if you ask me why I prefer F11 than uh, to F8, it's because I think this lens, the 24 to 105 L lens from Canon version one, um, has uh, its best sharpening at F11. So this is my preferred way of photographing with this lens. But it's not the only way, or it may be not the way you're uh, using this lens. And it's completely fine because uh, uh, photography is just a way of expressing ourselves. And because we are unique as individuals, also the images that we're producing are unique and um, they express different, uh, different things and different emotions. Even though the fog, it's completely evaporated from the forest. I still have time for one more shot and it's a beautiful winding trail that goes through the trees and you can see better the trail because of the footsteps, my footsteps and footsteps of other people that went into the forest and I will I'll frame it in a, with a, a focal length that's a little bit higher, about 40, 40 something. So after hiking one hour to get up here, uh, I managed to take only three or four photos that you saw during this vlog. And sometimes when, when I was a beginner photographer, I was, I was thinking that this is a, this was a bad hiking trip or a bad photo trip. And it's not. It's, it's nothing like that. Every moment that you spend as a landscape photographer outside in nature is a benefit to you. Of course, and I'm going to a place with the idea to come back with the best photos and I'm hoping to have lots of photos, but it's not always the case. Patience and perseverance are some of the, some of the most important qualities for a landscape photographer. I can't tell you how many times I hiked to a place, even for four or five hours, to photograph a sunset that never came. So it's something that you, uh, you can think of uh, after this video. Now, if you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn more about my way of seeing uh, uh, landscape photography, you can go on my website. The link is in the description of this video and you can, uh, uh, purchase my ebook and what can I say until next time keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better thanks for watching and bye bye